Today we're going to show you how to connect a map enhancer onto a map sensor. In this particular case we're working on a 1997 350 Chevy pickup truck 1500 series. And uh, as you can see right here, the computer is conveniently located so that we can access the wires that we need to get to uh, right from the computer. You could do this either way. You could hook the uh, wires that need to be hooked up either to the actual map sensor wire, wire that is going to be the signal wire we're talking about at the map sensor or here at the computer where those wires actually go to. So in this case right here we're using a three conductor cable wire here. The cable's gray right here but there's three wires that are inside this particular uh, cable that we're using. We have a white wire right here, we have a red wire right here, you can see that, and then we have a black wire right here. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer in right here so you can see this. Okay, so we've already located at the computer the signal wire for the map sensor. We've located that wire, we've cut the wire in fact the signal wire. We've attached the white wire from the map enhancer, the white wire, to the wi signal wire at the computer. And the other end of the wire that we cut, which goes to the map sensor, we connected the red wire to. The black wire is simply a ground wire that's grounded to the frame. This cable, of course, goes into the vehicle and connects act right uh, for our map enhancer. Don't confuse the two terms here. This is the map enhancer and you have a map sensor. The sensor is what this actually, this enhancer tunes. So it actually controls the signal wire to lean out the computer so that the hydrogen can take effect. We're going to show you how to adjust that too. It's very easy to adjust once you have it hooked up and you've located the signal wire as we already spoken about. Okay, we're inside the vehicle now. We're going to attempt to adjust the map enhancer. We have the vehicle at uh, engine idle. As you can see right here on the tachometer, it's at engine idle. And what we're going to do is make sure the switch is in the on position. This is off position where the X is. This is on position. And by the way, when you're hooking up the uh, map enhancer, make sure that the uh, battery is disconnected when you make the actual hookup. And make sure that the, uh, the enhancer itself is turned all the way off, the knobs all the way counterclockwise, and the switch off till you're ready to make the adjustment. So we have the switch in on position. We've actually already made our adjustment. We're on the city side. Switch switched over to the right. That's the first setting you got to make. The way you make this is by moving this knob right here. You can actually watch the tachometer and also hear the engine as you're doing this to see uh, what's happening as you go ahead and uh, tune this knob. As you turn it clockwise, the engine is going to start to try to stall. The tack is going to start dropping. It's going to start moving around like that. It's starving for fuel. See what we have here? We've turned it more to the uh, right here, clockwise, which is uh, actually leaning it. You don't want to over lean it. So once you start feeling it kind of trying to kill, bring your knob back counterclockwise till it stabilizes and it just gets about to the smoothest spot that you have right there without going too far counterclockwise. So uh, you'll need to drive the vehicle too in this case because in the city setting for this it'll be under 40 miles per hour. If the engine starts to ping a lot, you've got this turned up too high and too lean. You'll need to come down. You don't want to lean it out too much. Now after you get that set, that's for under 40, 40 miles per hour and under. You would do likewise to the highway by switching it over on the highway. Make sure you're not in any traffic and start to adjust the highway knob likewise. If the engine starts to ping excessively, you got it turned up too high, start turning it down and bring it a little bit richer 
and until you get it just about where the pinging is completely gone and that will be your ideal setting for the highway. So it's very easy to set. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that you rate it and we hope that you also help to improve the environment and your fuel mileage. Thanks for watching.